Hi Cancer, welcome to your past life ready for couples. This is the uh, af life after the retrograde forecast specials. Now let's take a look if you are really with the right one. If that is your destiny, what are your karmic ties and binds and your karmic debts? And what are the lessons that you need to learn and who is your soulmate? Are you really with the right one? Let's take a look. Oh. It seems like you do have a lot of fear for that uh, person that you used to be with. And you're... Okay. It seems like you have gone through some severe depression as well. Too much fears. You were always black and blue when you were still together. And you were both from Egypt and then Eastern Europe. Um, I feel like more likely around friends. Now... There has been a lot of trust issues between you and this person, or between you and your spouse, because <coughs> your instincts are something that you cannot really control whenever it's kicking. You know that whenever this person is up to something promiscuous, or something that's uh, really doubtful, you can't really help yourself not to confront this person, and whenever this, you know, your spouse gets confronted and, um, gets caught they become violent or hostile now you you know this person is somebody that is older than you and it seems like you get married at a very early age or at a very young age without even knowing what's right from wrong now that is also the reason why this person always you know, like uh, always bully you or they always feel like they can always carry you, you know, or manipulate you. And they are too, what do you call this? Like they're very too soaked up with themselves and uh, they're too self-absorbed and self-serving. And nobody else is much more important but themselves. Okay. And you have this... Um, you have this different kind of talent or you have this different kind of uh, knowledge or advanced knowledge because you also belong to one of the advanced um, civilizations in the past. And there are some lessons and blessings in your past life that you need to be a little bit thankful because it had already contributed a lot in your, uh, in your, in your present life right now. And even though you are, you know, you are too conscious about financial security because you have gone through a lot of strife and difficulties in the past. And um, there are times that you're going through starvation, okay, because of this person who's very irresponsible, especially when it comes to money that they just, you know, gamble and, uh, you know, like they're just going to throw it away just like that. And whenever they got defeated or whenever they uh, lose their money or lose in the, uh, the gambling, they're going to end it up being so drunk and uh, you know go home and they beat you up now you were also born as a male and female okay in your past lives and uh, you also served as a as a knight and you know sometimes it doesn't really mean that you're bisexual but sometimes you have the strength of a man even you're a female or you have that emotion okay or sensitivity of a woman if you're a man now you were also accused of something that you did not really do because your spouse have um stole something um because they have lost so much money in gambling and uh, i feel like they have framed you up okay and because of that you suffered tremendously for something that you did not really do and you used to you know, to confess to priests or friars and you are a church cover, you have very strong faith. And you also used to um, offer songs or uh, you used to sing for the church and you were also a mother of two. 
Now, even though that you are in the, um, you know, in the Middle East, not necessarily in Egypt, but you're in the Middle East, you know, in some parts, I feel like you do have some strong faith, you know, to the real creator. And your religion before is like a taboo. Okay? You're serving your God or you're serving God that is different from the religion of that country that you're in. Okay, and if somebody will know that you are praising that God, he, then you will get ex ex executed. Okay, now aside from that, your spouse who belong to the, uh, let's say, different religion or different clan or different, um, not really different ethnicity, but because you have the same ethnicity, but it's like you're divided into different tribes or different clan or something like that. <clears throat> okay and since that he doesn't really believe in you know in the god that you're praising so he feels like you're also crazy okay so this person that you're with right now is someone who will keep on punishing you and someone who will keep on scrutinizing you you know for whatever you believe and whatever you have although you know it's part of their karma that you will be making much more money or that you will have much more sound career than this person or even if you have if you even if you're making much more money than this person they will keep on giving you a lot more burdens and responsibilities in the relationship marriage or your family so that they can get away with whatever they want i feel like you ended up with somebody who has some attitudes when it comes to money and responsibilities and they are very immature and selfish and they always put much more burdens to you because they always say oh okay you you earn much more money than me and i can even barely afford my shoes which is it's, it's not even true so you're always looking for an equality and you're always looking for something that will you know that will give you see that will give you much more meaning and value in a relationship and uh give you more value as a person in a relationship and you have suffered from an unrequited love for three stages of your lives already now during the times that you were still together you have decided to take off and uh you know um run away with your baby but unfortunately you did not really you know you did not really made it because it, you did not drown but you have traveled and along the way you have caught some disease or illnesses before that I feel like they don't have any medicines yet, okay? And um, you have, well, you have reached the land of the Native Americans and you've lived near the nature. Even though your baby did not really made it, you know, through that, uh, through the trip, you have been taken care of by some people that are not really known to you and uh, of also a different religion okay you hid under the um under the boat okay so that you can get away from this cruel person that right after serving the jail term or right after serving the uh, imprisonment of being framed up for something that you did not even do because you were pardoned okay and uh, you were bitten up, lashed, and I feel like your um, one of your fingers were also cut because you were um, you were accused of stealing. Okay, and this is something that you can never ever forget. You know, something that he put you into this very difficult situation, and you have vowed yourself to move away from him as far as you could. So if there is a person in your life right now that have some that have the same uh, similar traits or similarities You will keep on running away from this person and their memories will keep on haunting you Okay Now as for your Real soulmate or for your final destiny I mean you're you know the right one This is a person who is <clears throat> who is an air sign, okay? And this person turns out to be someone who is younger than you and someone who will be taking care of you. 
and I feel like they serve um, in the field of law enforcement or mi military and they know how to honor their words and they are much more disciplined and they know how to treat uh, other people with equality and I also feel like he came from a different place different city or different country okay now the person that is really right rightfully meant for you you will be meeting this person in a crowd and I feel like this is the time where you will you know when, when you will be feeling so complete and um, when you feel like you're ready for the unknown because all your life you're so afraid of somebody around you someone who's gonna be very cruel to you I also feel like you've had some problems with the uh, you know with some male family members in your family and because of that that you are struggling with your own personality and shadows of the past that you feel like you're different or you're also ashamed that there's a part of yourself that are different okay now you will be marrying the person that is somebody from your past life not the one that you were married to but the one that you have met in your other past life and you were a Greek okay or when you were in Europe well you're both in Europe but um, and then you will be very you will stay optimistic and you will stay positive in your surroundings, in your outlook in life. And by the time that you're fully ready, by the time that you know that you're already complete, and by the time that you're ready, ready to love yourself and, you know, begin another course or another chapter, that is the only time that you will be meeting this person which will be coming real soon i feel like it's going to be happening this year okay some cancers are also going through on the verge of either breaking up divorce or freeing themselves up from toxic situations or connections from somebody because they feel like you know you, you feel like you're so tired of waiting for 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 something of you know of not uh, that, that's not going to happen and you're so tired of uh, fixing someone in your life. And this is what you're you know, starting to become even more clear right now. That you're already tired of waiting for something to happen. But you don't even know if it's still going to happen. Okay? You've already met your, <coughs> your soulmate. And you've already met your, uh, you know, your karmic soulmate. And now you are only there, you know, the only thing that you needed right now is to learn your past lesson and to learn your, you know, your life path and your main purpose or mission in life. Now, your main lesson here is you don't really have to keep on looking for love, okay? And you also need to learn how to identify some people who can, who is, who, who is really capable of loving and not just using people like a doormat or like a like a thing okay in their cabinet so and i also feel like you also need to learn how to love yourself more more than anything else because you have a big heart you have the heart of gold and you're also very generous and giving that you're only waiting for somebody to value you to love you to take care of you to treat you like how you are treating everyone else that you are wishing for one person who will be taking care of your heart and will stay there till the end of time. And this person is coming soon. But only when you are fully ready, only when you are when you have already learned your lessons in the past. And you also need to outgrow and you also need to um, outsmart this other cruel soulmate of yours, the karmic soul so your karmic soulmate. All right. You deserve love, and you deserve more than what you needed to have. But um, be very careful, okay? Especially with um, with fire signs, earth signs. 
I feel like you will be more entangled and hooked up with with earth signs, but when it comes to finances or money, or when it comes to the division of uh, responsibilities, you will find earth signs a little bit, you know, unmatched or mm, somebody that you don't really deserve to be with. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this retrograde cancer. And if you want to have the same kind of reading, just go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net. You may also talk to me live with the phone or live with the calls. And thank you for watching and subscribing. All right. Blessings to you all.